Every year after week one, I tell you, I caution you, don't overreact. Yeah, but you still do. Baltimore beat the Bills 47-3 week one. Mike Florio has them going to the Super Bowl. And then they face Cincinnati last night. They spot the Bengals a 21-0 lead almost instantaneously. And then the Ravens end up making it a game and a reminder of how the uh, week one, week two uh, overreaction is uh, front and center. Joe Flacco struggled early, came back late, but not enough. So I'm curious what other week one overreactions we're going to have. The storylines that might fall apart on Sunday. Sam Darnold going to be great this time around? Is Ryan Fitzpatrick going to have another huge outing? What about Kansas City's Patrick Mahomes? Is he the real deal? What about on the other side? Can the Lions be as bad as they were? Can the Bills be as bad as they looked? How about the Cowboys? Will they have an offense against the Giants? Will the Giants have an offense as well? All I can say for sure is week one reactions almost certainly will be inaccurate. That's the way it goes. And with the Ravens last night against Cincinnati, Cincinnati normally doesn't do well in primetime. And, you know, they did well opening week. In fact, the stats are uh, kind of impressive there for the Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals are the first team to score at least 34 points in each of their first two games since the 2013 Broncos, who went on to reach the Super Bowl that year. They've also scored 30 points in each of their first two games uh, for the first time in team history. Keep in mind, they scored nine total points through two games last year. But the Bengals stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what stat of the day. Stat of the day brought to you by Continental Tire, proud supporter of the Dan Patrick Show. No matter what you drive, where you drive, how you drive, Continental's got a tire for you. But yes, yes, McClub. This is week two overreaction to the Bengals. I'm reading they're a Super Bowl contender now after two games, even though they won a week two short week game at home. Wait, 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 wait. Who's calling them a Super Bowl? Mark contender? Maskey, the Washington Post, uh, Paul Danner Jr. of the Cincinnati Inquirer. They're all not Super Bowl contender necessarily. It is glowing headlines. Okay. Maybe let's start with playoff contender. Maybe the team to beat in the AFC North. Let's start with playoff contender. These are the Bengals. Well, the Bengals make the playoffs a lot. A lot. Okay, but let's just start there. They're not a Super Bowl contender. Not yet. There's a lot of good teams in the NFC. Your refusal and, to and overreact to week two. A lot of good teams two. in the AFC. So when you want to have that, hey, Super Bowl contender after week one or week two, you know, I, I would slow your roll a little bit there. Yeah, Fritzy. So what does that mean for the sneaky Super Bowl pick? The Ravens are all excited about that amazing defense, and that's a team a lot of people are jumping on. Now, what do we think about them? Well, it's a loss to Cincinnati on the road. And Cincinnati, I think Cincinnati is going to be, I said they would be better uh, this year than they were last year, but that's not really going out on a limb. I think that they'll be competitive this year. I think the Ravens are a better team. But Cincinnati jumped on them right away with A.J. Green. You know, when you get three touchdowns in one and a half quarters, now, all of a sudden, your offense becomes one-dimensional. Yeah, point. Dan, there's a lot more to last night's game than face value. There's a little guy in the back row who loves himself some Andy Dalton, mm -hmm. and he was uh, a mess on the social media last night. Quote, this is one of the most painful Bengals games I've ever watched, slowly, slowly bleeding away the league. Uh, the, the lead. lead. Uh, Andrew, at one point at halftime, said he was going to sleep because he was sure the Bengals would screw this up. Yeah. They tried. Yeah. Why? Marvin Lewis, time management at the end of the half. What was that? Do you feel good about your Bengals? Nope. Okay. They, right. are, they are the world leaders in dropped interceptions, untimely penalties, bad coaching decisions. That was a dicey game. It was a divisional game. So, you, 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 of course, they won that, but they'll drop the similar game. All right. Well, they got the win. That's but what you have I to do. I agree with you, by the way. The Ravens are – people are – Giving up on the Ravens very quickly. Nobody's giving up on the Ravens. Yeah, you got to get on Twitter on on the I night know, games. I, I they, everybody no, is. No, I can't do that. They people overreact stronger than I think you even know. I think you got to wait till the halfway point where then you can react. And if it, and if you want to say it's an overreaction after week eight or week nine, okay. But I think that's what you have to. You have to wait a little bit here. People go quarter by quarter, let alone no, midway through the season. That's why I can't do it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.